Baby, then get a bad From the way you want me, no one say you can't fuck Then get a bad, bad, bad When you back it up, you tell me you're not wrong Yo from the way you wind me, no one say you can't fuck When you back it up, you tell me you're not run And you wind it up and drop it on the ground But can you do it on the day? 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 Thank you so much, M1 Mayor, for coming on the show. It's lovely to touch base with you. How are you? I'm good, thanks, and thanks for having me. You're welcome. So, what have you been up to? I know you've been doing a little something you know, in there. I've been up to like most literally stay inside because you can't go nowhere mm -hmm. and literally just writing and recording constantly. So that's exactly what I've been up to. Just okay. writing and recording. So you write all your own stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only thing I can't do in music really is like make beat. But okay. when it comes to like writing a song, I can do that that's fully, you. thoroughly, yeah. What do you think of artists that don't write their own music? <laughs> do you know what? I think that's a good question. I feel like it doesn't really, I'm not going to say it doesn't really show your ability mm -hmm. to the fullest, but I feel like it gives you like, like a shortcut. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I mean, you have the talent, I mean, you have the voice and stuff, but I guess, I feel like it's just kind of a, too much of a shortcut, but I think not everyone is blessed with the talent to write. So I mean, if you're blessed with the, like, singing skills, it kind of meet halfway if you get what I'm trying to say mm -hmm. so I do feel like it's a blessing and I do feel like it's a bit of a shortcut to be yeah. but yeah I think it's one or the other either you can write or you can't write mm -hmm. but you got the voice so when did you actually start writing music? Um, do you know what? I start writing music properly after I heard a Bounty Killer song mm -hmm. because I didn't know how to write a music first I didn't know how to like structure it like with chorus and chor like a chorus and a verse I didn't know that. So one day I was listening. I can't remember when. Though. I think it was maybe like early, maybe 2001. Mm -hmm. Like when I can properly like say that I remember learning how to like properly formulate like the structure of a music, like writing a song. And I think it was from then. Yeah. So I listened to this Bounty Killer song and I was like, oh, so he sing this bit first mm -hmm. and then he goes to the, to the verse. So yeah, from then I start to think, this is what I'm going to write yeah. myself. So a verse first, chorus first, and then a verse. Okay. And did you have anyone around you, like family or friends, that made music that you could kind of look at and lean, lean to in terms of you writing your own? In terms of like music-wise, like my family, they're more into like the dance side of music. Okay. Or like my uncle, my uncle used to like, he can like build a house, like a whole sound system from probably just like a like a little radio mm -hmm. and he has like his speakers and he can turn it into like a big system so like music is always like in my family like that so but from like everyone singing no one in my family sing my sister can sing really mm -hmm. but like from like doing dance on music no one didn't really do that they just more like dance it like do the dance all part of it like dancing mm -hmm. yeah so do your what do your family think about your music my mom loved my music, yeah. like not the explicit like one, but like my mom and I feel like my sister is actually like my biggest fan yeah, of my music. It's good. Like she would tell me straight if it's good and she would tell me if it's crap. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, and yeah. you've got, is it three sons? Um. <laughs> <laughs> is it? You tell no, me. No, 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 no. I got How four. Many you got four sons? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. How old are they? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you getting nervous? They'll be watching this one day. You know? um, yeah, one is like too young to understand. Okay. And then like my oldest is 14. Yeah. And then like um, 12 and 8. Okay, yeah, so like the mom. older ones, yeah. are they making music? No, I don't think he's musical at all. Really? I really don't. I think he's more athletic, like other than okay. musical. So you don't I want him like... to, like, do you know what? I want him to bring, I didn't want him to, do you know, I want him to have some form of music like aspect to his life but i feel like he just doesn't go for music it's mm. just about either running like some form of athletics i even want him to get him football but he just doesn't care he's just care about like athletics okay so yeah. i was thinking maybe we could jump on a track with you i know right? <laughs> probably not yeah i don't know if i would like that 
wanna... Yeah, like a son and dad thing. I don't know. Um, I feel like, nah. But it could be legendary. Like, I mean, it could be, I mean? but I feel like it's a bit... I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit... I don't know. I'll be too protective. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I would like okay, that. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so um, your, your kids, do they grow up here? Yeah, all my yeah. kids grew up here. But yeah, you yeah. yourself? No, I was actually, I brought up in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. I know, I was born in Jamaica and brought up here. Okay, so what age so, like, did you... I came to this country when I was about 13. 13? That is yeah, quite, that yeah, is yeah, quite yeah, old, yeah, like, yeah, 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 in terms yeah. of you've seen enough life. Do you know what, I feel like, like now if you ask me where home is, I'll pro- I feel like I'll always say, like, Jamaica is my home. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? But then I feel like... Here is like if I go to Jamaica and I have a set date when I'm gonna return to England, I feel like okay, I look forward to return. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Because I feel like obviously I spend most of my adult life here now. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like Jamaica has always been like a home, like first home, mm-hmm. and England is like second home. And do you feel like that's been a big influence on your music, like yeah, from Jamaica? you know, yeah, for real. I feel like whenever I go to Jamaica, reality hits me. Mm-hmm. And you know, and I, and it kind of makes me feel how it kind of makes me grounded and remind myself of how privileged I am, kind mm-hmm. of thing. So I kind of just incorporate the two in my music. Do you know what I mean? Like and just put like like my Jamaican life and like my the way I live my life in England. I just kind of mm. put two of them. So do you feel like your yeah. upbringing compared to your sons is very different? Oh, hundred yeah. percent. Like hundred percent. I feel like my sons get like whatever they want, like mm-hmm. without even kind of wait. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like for me, like I've never had a birthday party until like when I was 28. Yeah. <laughs> That's like my first birthday party mm-hmm. ever. And like my sons, they get like everything is no. so, yeah, <laughs> like it's just within a reach to them. Mm-hmm. But I feel like that's what I wanted. I feel like I didn't. I mean, I don't want them to have like handouts, mm-hmm. but I feel like I didn't want them to like want for nothing. Because I feel like if your kids are kind of want for things, I feel like that's when you kind of fail mm-hmm. as a dad. Like that's from, that's my perspective anyway but I feel like if you are with family and your family want and they and you can't kind of like like uh, provide it I feel like you kind of fail as, as a dad kind of thing do you know mm-hmm. what I mean so yeah so thank god they don't really want for nothing so you were saying that like obviously when you go to Jamaica it kind of hits you and the yeah. reality and stuff so do yeah. you channel a lot of that through your music does that inspire your lyrics yeah but yeah a hundred percent because I feel like it makes it more authentic mm-hmm. and I feel like when you it's, it's like people who st- you want to write about struggle but you never struggle mm-hmm. you kind of don't really know where you're going with it if you're going to write like for if, if you've been in the struggle and know what the struggle is then you're kind of easy to tell that story mm-hmm. yeah and i feel like with most of my music i kind of tell a story to it mm-hmm. other than just like just write about any random thing i feel mm-hmm. like i try to tell a story what music. do you feel is like the most important message to um sort of like spread through your music do you know what i feel like music is an art I'm not one of them guys that's gonna say, don't do violent yeah. song, don't do this, don't do that. I feel like whatever you're good at, just master it and mm-hmm. become the best, be- become the best of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my, that's what I would, that's what, that's what my advice would be to anyone. But what, but with my positivity that I spread through music, it's more of like, like for me, I would go from singing more positive songs. Mm-hmm. But with dance style, you have to go from positive, then you have the proper dance style where it's like. A bit vulgar, mm-hmm. and it's you know what I mean, and it's a bit like rebellious, where you rebel rebel against things that you don't really necessarily like appreciate or agree with. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. And obviously, like growing up in the UK, how do you feel like that's affected your dancehall? Like, would you say it's slightly different from other dancehall artists? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. I think every dancehall artist in England is different from dancehall artists in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. And I feel like with Jamaica, yeah, even just by the way they talk and even by the way we talk, I feel like it slightly comes out in our songs. Mm-hmm. But when you have a dancehall artist from Jamaica, you get in the raw, authentic, like patois, mm-hmm. so to speak. Yeah. Who, yeah. So who are your favourite like Jamaican dancehall artists? Do you know, I'm quite old school, so I have like loads of favourite. Yeah. Like, from Ninja Man to Beanie to mm-hmm. Bounty to Merciless. To Movado, to Ayutain, like loads of people who kind of bujubanda, like mm-hmm. from different. If with dance, are like my favorites kind of varies. You know what I mean? I have like the conscious, which I would go for, like someone like Chronics or like Buju or Sizzler. I go for people like those. 
and and then like for the we call it like big people dancer i would go for someone like barry sunland and mm-hmm. people like that do you know what i mean mm-hmm. yeah i need like popcorn have to give pop, people like popcorn ratings shaggy Shampa, people like those, Shaba, people like those who kind of put dance all literally on, on the map, map on yeah. a global scale. So yeah, I actually give like ratings to those people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, what do you fit like? What what's your opinion on the way that dance halls evolved, say from the nineties <laughs> till now? What's, do you, do you know what? It or? Oh, do you know what? I, I feel I don't know if I'm for it, but I feel like there is a big difference. Mm-hmm. I feel like. With dancehall in the 90s, you will always love it. Mm-hmm. With dancehall now, you will have like a favorite song, and then a year later, that song, you don't even like that song anymore. Mm-hmm. But with like a dancehall song from the 8th, from the 8th, from the 90s, it, it will be More your favorite. Yeah, 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 like it will yeah. be your favorite forever. Like nowadays, music, I feel like it's just temporary. Mm-hmm. I feel like, and I really don't know why, but I feel like. Like for me now, yeah, I would hear like a song now and I don't like it. Mm-hmm. And then the next minute I find myself liking it. You know what I mean? But we dance, yeah, but we dance our music before. As soon as you hear it, you just love it. Mm-hmm. And then it stays with you forever. And then when people play in like that section again and that song come on, you'll be like, oh yeah, that's my song. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I remember like where I grew up here, there used to be like two, two clubs. Um, so I grew up in Jamaica, but in like a small district, a place called Kensington. So we used to have like two clubs and we used to go there at night and they used to have like one club on your left side of the road, and one club on the right side of the road. So what we used to do, we used to kind of up from one to the other. So if one of them is playing our favorite songs, mm-hmm. we run to that one, stay there for a bit until they start playing like yeah, the dead yeah. songs. We just leave and go to the other. So for the whole night, we'll be going back and forth, back and forth to that one. Mm-hmm. So I think the the new dance song, I don't you don't really get that. Mm. But the whole dance song, you definitely get that. I, I'm not saying I'm not for it and I'm against it, but I think it's definitely changed to a different style. Mm. And I think, to be fair, it making a lot of young ghetto youths eat. So mm-hmm. whatever is feeding you, I guess, if you're not feeding them, who's mm-hmm. you to judge? You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. so, yeah. I do think that like dancehall, it was closer to reggae like a long time ago, and yeah. it's kind of coming way like far from that. Yeah. Like for your music, is is reggae something you would? Yeah, like, you yeah. I like feel like, like with my dancehall, uh, so I'm a dancehall artist, yes. But with me, I can cross over. Mm-hmm. I can do reggae music and I can do dancehall music. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? I have the ability to more, and I quite do it. I do it quite frequently as well. I have the ability to kind of dabble if I get if someone send me like a, a, a nice reggae beat and I like that beat mm-hmm. I, will, I can put something on that beat mm-hmm. and it will still be fire mm-hmm. so yeah when was um, the last time you went to Jamaica like you had the chance yeah to we, I used to go there. every year yeah. like sometimes even twice in a year but like because of the COVID-19 mm-hmm. business now you know don't go but my last time was in 2017 17. Yeah, yeah did you make music there I, I didn't make music there, but I did music there. I okay. did like some interview with um, TVJ and I did some um, shows there in my, like in my area. Mm-hmm. So we had some little... Um, do you know like producers out there? Is there anyone like you want to know, shout out that... Do you know I don't know producers out there, but I know a lot of artists out there. Mm. So like all the artists from like in my area, there's an artist called Willie Bling. He's actually really good. You know what I mean? Like, he's affiliated with, like, someone like The Six. I don't know if you know about The Six. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, he's he knows all of them people as well. But, yeah. But him, I feel like he's a really good artist. So, I have to shout out with him. Have you made music together yet? No, we haven't made music together yet. And that's just... uh, I kind of don't know whether it's me he's waiting for or I'm waiting mm-hmm. for him you know what I mean but like when we go there like they rate all of my music mm-hmm. you know what I mean they play my music there 24 7 so but I'm sure we will call up mm-hmm. when the time is right so do you like working with other artists What's yeah I artists? love working with other artists I love it I love I love to hear another guy's like um or a girl performing and like seeing their work you know what I mean mm-hmm. and tell them like yo this is that, that, that's that, or they can give me feedback. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like you can learn from everyone, do you know what I mean? But I'm the type of person, I don't really like, like to, um, 
listen to the same type of music that I do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I tried to listen to other music so I could like some way like bring it together mm. and just be sounding different. Because I feel like when you stuck to the same thing or in the same circle, naturally you kind of yeah. morph. You know just what I mean? Replicate what's yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. So when exactly did you start? I mean, you said you started writing like two thousand one. Yeah. So when? How old were you when you started making music? Do you know what? I could always do music mm. from when I was about young. I was probably I would say eight. Wow. I could always do it, but I just didn't know how to write it. Mm-hmm. But then I learned how to write it because in Jamaica, in Jamaica, yeah, it is so different. It's like a vibe everywhere. Mm-hmm. You would be, especially like, it could have been night, day, morning, whatever. Yeah, it's like proper vibe. So you'd be like with your friends and you guys would just start freestyling. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? And then in, I remember when I was younger, there was these two guys as artists like in our area. And I just used to like, I remember one time I copied one of their songs. And I just changed one word mm-hmm. into it and make it, <laughs> telling everyone it was my song. And everyone actually loved me for that song until he heard it. Yeah. And he said, like, that's my song. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm the one that's singing first to these mm-hmm. people. But like, he never did anything to me. So yeah, but I, could, I couldn't write it, but I could always do music. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not, you know. So do you feel like your sound, like even the way you write, has changed yeah. over time? Like, over yeah, years? I feel like that. I feel like the older you get, it's like, I don't know, but I feel like you become mature and you become like a master of your mm-hmm. own craft. So I feel like when you're more comfortable, you kind of just relax and you're more relaxed on the beat. You, you understand how the beat works. You understand your breathing. Because when you first start mm-hmm. writing a song, you have to learn how to control and learn your breathing and all that. So that was hard for me. And then I learned that, master that. And then now, like writing a song now, is literally you can get a song from me within minutes mm-hmm. and then there's some days when your brain will freeze so you get <laughs> you just part that and just mm-hmm. come back to it another time so when if you do um like your vision when would you plan to retire from music like if you would i don't know when i can't walk or perform yeah <laughs> yeah That's i fun. feel like that yeah i feel like music doesn't really have no age i feel like with your age you should mature you your music should come with that mm. maturity. That's what I think. You know what I mean? Like you could be 40, 50, 60 doing music as long as you're kind of representing. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, and this is, and this is what I feel like as well, like between like, like for me with the Kanye and Drake album, mm-hmm. I feel like Kanye album for me shows growth. And like, he's like, he's like in his 40 and he's talking about like, reality Mm -hmm. life stuff and then i feel like with drake ones speak about like kind of a younger guy going through like yeah do you know what i mean mean. still i'm I'm still single and i still haven't been here i'm still like that so i feel like that is a perfect example of like with like growth Mm -hmm. so the older you get or whatever you kind of just make your music mature yeah there's like more wisdom for the yeah music. so yeah. you put that in your song other than yeah, it's talking yeah. about you can't be like 50 or 40 and still talking about sticking up people and mm-hmm. robbing people yeah like sure, yeah. you should try and encourage you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah. the reason i ask is because like i feel some artists um, especially when it comes to sort of like their success they have these certain milestones where they you know if they hit it they're like hey okay, now i've made it yeah. or like now it's time to kind of like take a step back from music Which, for you what would you say like is one of like the big milestones that you want to hit with your music and you know what? i feel like it? people can only do that when the success comes mm. if you don't if if the success don't come before you can't really give yourself to say okay when i'm 20 because yeah not even age though you know old. like for example like if there's say like a certain radio station or like a certain place that you want to perform like yeah you know like just doing something which kind of marks that okay this is like my level of success like as a dancehall artist yeah. what's the sort of like for me i would is? love to hear my music like for me i would love to hear my music on like like kiss okay like on a, you know what i mean Very, like, like, yeah, like, an, platform, yeah, like yeah like on a commercial platform and then you can be like shit like you make it kind of thing mm-hmm. do you know what i mean I think that would give me big satisfaction in terms of like success wise and mm-hmm. like hear your music playing like all over. You know what I mean? I think as an artist, any artist, 
knowing that people appreciate your work mm. and seeing your seeing your work manifest is I feel like it's like the ultimate joy for music. Mm -hmm. Like for me, that's the goal. Or do you know what I would love to perform at one of these like like fests. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's that what's that fest that the other day? Was wireless. it um, wireless? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The day I perform on wireless, like no one can talk yeah, to me. Yeah, there you go, yeah. That's it for so me. So the thing is, you know like radio stations like KISS, obviously they're very mainstream and yeah. I don't know how they go about the kind of like sensitivity with the lyrics and things yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. So would you kind of be willing to change your music you know what? your lyrics? With dance to do that? music, yeah, hell yeah. I feel like with dance on music you have two you have like and with every music you have you have explicit and mm. you have like the the, the non explicit version. And I feel like with certain things that you're talking about, like I I know what to talk about, do you know what I mean? So I wouldn't talk about like say to speak inappropriate stuff when mm -hmm. you shouldn't be so you know what i mean so if i know the, the levels to go to get your music played on a certain level a certain platform then you have to take that route if that's where you're trying to go mm -hmm. yeah i've been listening to a lot of your mixtapes yeah um and i did notice that a lot of the lyrics refer to evil women yeah either like about women or to women yeah um so are these is this from like personal experience when you're um, some of the lyrics yeah like yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's do you know what it's it's like it's either it happened to me or <laughs> or it's something i've seen do you know what i mean okay. like for instance when i'm in jamaica like the way the girls dance in jamaica mm -hmm. is completely different to how the girls move in england okay so so, so yeah. you're so the, your music majority is about Jamaica women or no, I wouldn't say it's about it's kind of it's kind of mixed you know what I mean and like I said like if I'm if I'm in Jamaica if I if I'm in Jamaica and I'm gonna dance I'm gonna sing a song about a girl in Jamaica I would sing it about the way how she's moving and mm -hmm. how she can dance so good and this and that and if I'm in England I would sing it a bit different like, so you're saying I mean, English yeah. girls can't dance no they can but I just feel like English girl <laughs> is like different no I would never say that you know English girl is different um from jamaican girls the only different the only thing do you know what and the thing is as well i think is different like jamaican like if you p girls in jamaica their skin feel different okay girls in okay i swear yeah that's one thing i can say like just touch yeah. even like yeah touching a, like a skin like well, you know that, what it mean? must be the sun then i mean? think it's the sun yeah, yeah. i think yeah <laughs> i think it's different than the sun but I don't know, Jamaican girls and English girls are completely different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they are. Attitude wise, everything wise. Yeah. If you were with someone, yeah. um, or in the past, like, have yeah. you written songs for girls? No, do you know what? I've written songs about people that I met. Mm -hmm. Like girls that I met or. Do they know? Like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So What's their reaction that. been? Oh, they don't really believe at first, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then I'll be like, and I'll be like, yeah, no, that's actually for you. And then I have to like say something that makes it kind of specific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I like doing that though. I feel like because I feel like it's real like that when mm. somebody kind of makes you go out your way in terms of like feel some type of way, mm -hmm. I guess. And then you kind of in your feelings, you kind of just. I think it's nice. It's a nice heart to kind of put together. Mm. Just say so you put your feelings on a record and just be like, yeah. This is how I feel about you. And mm. if that person makes you feel like that, I feel like that's good. Mm. Yeah. And like, do you feel that you would, well, I obviously don't know if you're with someone or not, so yeah. I don't want to say be. too much. So, but, but I'm going to say, like, obviously, <laughs> with that, do you feel like uh, to be you fair, would appreciate. I'm not okay. Because okay. <laughs> I was, was going to say, would you appreciate someone who also makes music? Like, if that's the case. No, 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 no way. <laughs> No, I feel like I wouldn't want a girl that do music. Mm. No. I wouldn't want a girl that do music at all because I just feel like it would be... Nah, Too much music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We wouldn't have any time for each yeah, other. Yeah, you need to switch off from it. Yeah, and, yeah. I feel like we wouldn't have any time for each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. So, what's your lifestyle at the moment in terms of your like time schedule? Are you a busy man or do you like to take things slow what's your yeah what's your i feel like you know what i like to stay busy mm -hmm. i never i'm not the type of person to just like sit down and do nothing like literally mm -hmm. if i'm not doing something like business-wide or like i find myself recently getting to like trading 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Is that forex? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Like buying all these coins and like trying to trade and trying to see. Trying, do you know what? Just trying to set your life a certain way, mm-hmm. whether it's by doing music or for me, it's whether it's by trading. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so that's obviously like Which investing. I, yeah, and yeah, yeah, that's like my new thing. Yeah, now, like trading, like trying to invest. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. where would you want to like invest your money? Do you plan to stay in the UK or would you, do you know go what? back to Jamaica? I feel like I would love to be like back and forth okay. i would love to have the opportunity where i feel like you know i'm gonna spend six months in jamaica a mm-hmm. couple of months in england a couple of months there or wherever mm-hmm. yeah i feel like i would love to like do that mm-hmm. yeah and what about like your next music video where do you want to shoot that what's your ideal uh do you know i want to i would say jamaica yeah but like I, i'm a type of person like wherever do you know what wherever i think is lit mm-hmm. you know what i mean and that's that but my next video should be like a kind of saucy video Mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah it's got to be that dance vibe exactly you know what i mean so yeah okay so you want to do the video in jamaica yeah nice so have you got music that's going to be released yeah i've got you know what i feel like i have a backlog of music Mm -hmm. that is literally that's what i'm going to do i'm just going to release music constantly from now on yeah like because a lot of people see me and they'll be like oh man i haven't heard anything from you or what's going on like when are you going to release this song or when are you going to this and when are you going to that you know what i mean but the thing is for me is because i can't mix i have to be waiting and producing so Mm -hmm. i have constantly have songs so i just be constantly writing Mm -hmm. but now it's time to like release music constantly mm-hmm. are you planning and on doing another mixtape yes definitely mm-hmm. i'm gonna do uh, to be fair i'm just gonna put music out and just mixtape i'm not trying to do albums as it but definitely music uh mixtapes and singles out mm-hmm. nice so what do you feel as an artist um that you n- need to do to like get to the next level of success you know i feel like just constant hard work and just be persistent and just be like literally just be like hard working and just constant mm-hmm. and just stick to the plan mm-hmm. i feel like if you're not consistent that's my problem i'll be like but then again i feel like it's my problem i feel like it's not my problem because i feel like i can work so hard and i do like five songs mm-hmm. and i need five songs to get mixed and out of the five songs only one or two can get mixed at the time mm-hmm. do you know what i mean so i feel like it's i'm working with a lot of busy people as well mm-hmm. so it's just one of them things i just have to be patient and be like just driven at the same time mm-hmm. yeah what motivates you to keep making music the love for it definitely the love for it and the the drive or the ambition i have to be great mm-hmm. yeah that's what the passion for it like mm-hmm. i'm very like f- when it comes to sports i'm super good at sports i know i'm like blowing my jumper a little <laughs> bit but yeah i'm super good at sports but music i feel like i just have a passion for music mm-hmm. i could be having like the worst day and then i just hear a certain type of music and it just hits me differently like everyone if, if you ask anyone about anyone they will tell you he sings all the time or he's doing some form of music so obviously being an artist involves a lot more than just music it yeah. includes like the branding and you know organizing the shows and everything else yeah. um, which is usually like managed or like you could be managing yourself what's yeah. your situation um my situation is um i'm an independent artist mm-hmm. but um i work with a few like very very good producers you know what i mean these guys are for me they're highly skilled to be fair um uh, I work with a guy called Little Sam, mm-hmm. and he have his own little thing going with very anything, any ring, anything from shooting a video mm-hmm. to mixing a track, um, anything like literally to do with music. You can link him, and with him, I work with Little Sam presents and Ark Snugger. Snugger, mm-hmm. he makes my beat, and to be fair, he makes some sick beat right now too. So those are the two guys that I'm working with, Ark mm-hmm. Snugger and Little Sun Presents mm-hmm. at the minute. And like, are you interested in getting signed to a label? What's your thoughts on it? Um, I would never say no to getting signed to a label. Do you know what I mean? I feel like that's what music is about. It's either it makes you feel like some form of fulfillment when labels approach you and mm-hmm. want to sign you, you know what I mean? But I wouldn't just sign for any label, do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, I know my worth kind of thing, so it's like, a label have to approach me the right way or anything like that so you know because mm-hmm. at the end of the day we believe in ourselves as well so we know the type of material that we have and we know what we're looking for so mm-hmm. the right people come along for sure mm-hmm.
So I think we're going to leave it there. Thank you, Thank very you much. so much for coming on. I appreciate um, it. Looking forward to seeing you all live in the lab, which Thank is going to be really soon. Yep. If you've got any last words to say to the audience, maybe just let them know where they can find you on socials and things like that. Um, obviously, you can find me at M1 Mayor, that's the Instagram, and to be fair, M1 Mayor for every other social network. Do it for the day. Can you do it for the day? Can you do it for the day? Can you do it for the day?